What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here with my Porsche Cayenne. It's got a trailer hitch on it, and to reach the top, I picked up a bump step. Now, this is a company I've ordered stuff from. It's actually here in the Chicago area, and it's WeatherTech, and they have made floor mats, and I've really enjoyed those. But I found that they made this. It's called a bump step, and you can put it into the trailer hitch of the back of your pickup truck, your SUV, like in this case. And then if I use the roof rack and put something on top, I can use this as a step to get up in there. So I thought maybe we'd check this out and see what it looks like and see if it works. So unboxing this thing out here in the garage and I can see that there's a bunch of stuff in it, more than I actually expected. Oh, so we get a stainless steel hitch pin that'll kind of keep it in place. And you can see the giant cotter pin and the pin there, it's pretty big. So when you put it in, you can put this pin in and that'll kind of fix it in place. And then looks like the only thing left is the bump step itself. And here it is. And man, um, even though this is just molded plastic, it's pretty heavy, pretty heavy duty. Uh, even though I'm a big guy and carrying a little mass around, I can tell you that I like the way this is constructed and I would have no problem stepping on it, and I will. You can see here we have a lot of vertical slats, which is going to help uh, hold that weight. So it's a really efficient way to do that. We even have some angled ones here. I'm not sure if that's to allow this if you get rear-ended, maybe assuming that this thing stays in the trailer hitch. If you get rear-ended, this part will collapse a little bit easier. You can see how many of those uh, struts we have on the inside here. And then this piece is actually drilled out or molded out on this side. So there are a bunch of holes there for the pin to go through. So pretty well made and it's probably about a foot across, foot wide. See the WeatherTech logo right on the front. And then we've got kind of that standard plastic molded texture. But then we also have some tread uh, molded into the top here. So that's pretty nice too. Um, even here down here on the back, you've got some little raised ridges here. So that'll help kind of fill out the receiver hitch and prevent it from rattling around and just kind of give you some glide rails for the most part. And before we install it, I just want to quick show you this bolt that passes through here. It actually has a threaded end on this end and then there is an Allen key uh, nut that holds down this little collar. So you actually kind of put this on here and then pull the bolt in here and then use an Allen key to tighten it down. Um, otherwise, if you put this key through there, you would just put the cotter pin through that hole and that will kind of hold it down. But I think you want to attach this end, especially if you are leaving this in permanently. So now let's get the step in and see if it works. All right, so here's my standard, it's a two inch receiver hitch and we will just go ahead and try to install this just like that, boom. What a good fit. And you can see it goes in there and I've got the hole on the side so I can put that pin through there. And the nice thing is, depending on where your bumper is, now I realize why there's so many holes because you can kind of adjust this so that you can make sure you get your foot on there. Because if I push this in all the way, kind of see with this bumper that kind of curves out a little bit, you'd really only be able to get your toes on there, which could be okay in most cases, but just to have a, a firm uh, foothold here. And I can tell you that this thing is pretty solid. I mean, I guess if I step on either side of it, uh, even though I'm a bigger guy, I don't think it's going to rotate even with it kind of being partially out like that right so I'm just going to put it here which I think is kind of where it would be comfortable for me and then I'm just going to step up on this sucker boom look at that no problems pretty nice and now I can get to stuff on the roof of my car so hey if you want to pick up this weather tech uh, bump step I will put a link to it in the description below Peter Von Panda out